Hello and welcome to Crafting with Jane. Um, we're Christmasing, um, love Christmas time and um, I'm doing Christmas cards and we'll be doing Christmas gifts and things like that shortly. Um, and I thought that we would make a pretty Robin card. I love Robins at Christmas. This is one of my favourite little images. I absolutely love this Robin. Uh, it's great size. It is by All and Create. And it is called Robin and Nuthatch because there's a lovely Nuthatch at the bottom. It's number 690 um, and it's designed by Tracy Evans. Um, just love it. Absolutely love it. So we are going to... Um, I'm going to stamp the Robin first, which might sound a bit strange because I don't want to cover the robin too much with the background i've just got a piece of card i'm trying washi tape now you know i've been having terrible problems with um the um this stuff um which is supposed to be low tack tape um it's about as low tack as a as a chewing gum <laughs> you know it's like it just is terrible i detack it i do all of the things you're supposed to do and it's stuck every single time so I've gone back to using good old washi tape and hopefully that is going to work perfectly so I'm going to take my robin first of all and I'm going to do my robin in some VersaFine now this is just VersaFine Onyx Black um, I'm using this one it's actually a broken one you can see on there um, I did a um, a workshop recently and unfortunately like everything people aren't as careful as they should be and I don't think they could work out how to open it at one point and as I had a lot of people and I wasn't keeping my eye on everything as I was helping somebody um, it got broken but there you go so my robin is going to come in like this and just go down on the center which I really love. I just love this little Robin image. I think it's just beautiful. So I'm just giving it a few seconds to go into the paper. So I get all of the lovely detail. And then I'm just going to pick it up. And you've got this beautiful Robin. I just love it. I think it's the most beautiful little image ever. So I want to do, as I said, I want to do some background. Um, so I'm just going to clean this off. I'm using just a chamois, um, a chamois, a, a microfiber cloth. And I keep it in while I'm working, wash it off afterwards, but keep it just in a little um, airtight bag because then it stays um, damp while I'm working because otherwise what seems to happen is that it will dry out and then um, and also if you put it sort of on the side it doesn't seem to go in the right place but it's one of those good things that I'm trying not to use the um, oh what do you call it um, wet wipes and things like that anymore because they're not particularly good for the environment so um, now I've got this one which is I think I'm just going to use some of this very lightly. Now, this is from a larger set that I've just, um, I got it a little while ago while they had, they had an incredible like 80% off sale. So it was, it was, it was rude not to. Um, this is number 648. It's called Friendship Florals. And I'm using this one here. I might even use some of these little birds as well. We'll sort of see. Maybe maybe at the bottom, maybe not. Um, but a lovely set as well. So I want to use crumb cake for doing round the edges. So I'm just using a sponge um, blending brush. And I'm just taking it in from the edge and then bring it up gently into the centre. Because I don't want too much coming over where I'm going to be colouring in so I'm just literally ooh, 
don't want that so i've just seen that and i've got a bit of a ruck on that one so i want that to come out straight there we go so i'm just trying to blend this in a bit Crumb cake's a bit, I could have actually gone for something like Sahara sand, a little bit paler, but I think it'll be, I think it'll be all right. I'm just trying to blend it up through on here so it's not too over the top. And as I say, I'm not coming round onto the bird too much because I want to be able to colour the bird in. So you can see I'm just taking the pieces at the back. Um, I am going to go into the, uh, let me just come up in on here and see if I can get that one out without it falling everywhere. I have all my stamps up on a shelf literally above me so I can have it by the table and I can work. Um, I've got my desk set up now in here so it's a smaller space than using my dining table which is what I tended to use but it is a easier for me to grab the bits and things that I need although as you know sometimes I have bits on my dining table because I've been working over there in, in natural daylight okay so I think that that works quite well what I want to do now is I want to take this and I'm just going to do a little bit of it just sort of at the side um, I don't want too much of it I just want some that's nice just want a little bit of sort of detail in on here to just give a little bit of um... oh that didn't work very well did I, I didn't press that very hard I think sometimes I'm, I'm a little bit too hesitant on it. I didn't want too much of this um, um, what you call it the um, the S on it. I just wanted that little sort of edge piece. Now I think I might get the feather. Yes, just get that little bit of feather in there, and then maybe a little piece of this just in on there there we go okay so that's just given a little bit of some interest in on the side um i'm just trying to think whether i need to bring it up a little bit more in on i'm going to try and stamp it off um onto one of my bits of scrap first of all because I don't want it to be too bright but I just want a little bit sort of in on here maybe in just like that there we go I think that's going to be all right I don't want to over egg it um, it's very easy to just sort of keep going and, and then you end up going one stamp too much and spoiling it okay so I just want to take this off now and with a bit of luck let me find that that's the top bit okay so this is washi tape and hopefully it's not going to put it back on itself right that looks good I'm terrified of, of what always seems to happen I end up getting um, Tearing it, so I'm going back on itself, taking it quite slowly. Now you see that's fine. So I think I should probably end up using washi. Oh no, maybe not on that one. I was going to say I might end up using washi tape, and I don't know whether some of it might be this card actually. Um, I think most of it should be okay. But it is so difficult. Sometimes it just... That one I think is okay. I just need to do this bit down on the bottom here. Because this seems to be... No, I didn't... I didn't detack this. Um, but I think we're... I 
think we're all right. I think, I think, I think. There we go. Pretty good, pretty good. I think I've got a little tiny bit down on there, but considering how normally it's everywhere. Um, but I like, I like to have that border. I think it just makes it. Okay, so now we need to colour our little robin in. And I have got these lovely, which I use all the time for my colouring, Ink Tense 24 Derwent. Um, they are watercolour or they're ink pencils that you can add water to and they are just very, very vibrant. Um, they've got high pipe pigment in there, which means that you get great colours. So we want the robin. Um, I want the robin's breast to be in the tangerine and we'll have it in poppy. And then the um, bird itself is going to be in willow, which is this dark brown, I think. Is that willow? Yes. Willow and we'll have it in baked earth, which is that one. Then we'll have the bark is going to be in bark just at the bottom so is that bark no let me find the bark bark is quite dark is that bark no that's charcoal gray this is why it's quite good to read what they are bark there we go okay so those are my pencils let me just put them in on here out of the way and we are going to do the breast in the orange so i'm going to start with the orange round on the sides i'm not zooming you in because it's not a complicated thing but i'm just taking the orange round the side and then i'm going to do the red in the middle because robins have don't have a bright red breast there it's a combination of sort of red and orange so i think that that will work quite nicely then we've got the um this is the pale brown and again i'm not doing i'm just doing circular mo motions and i'm not doing too much on there because i don't want him to be overly dark so that's the that's the baked earth then we'll have the slightly darker which can go in on the inside and down on the wings and then we'll have this is the dark as well so I'm going to do the top of the branch in the dark and then this is the bark which is almost like a black and that's going to go at the bottom to give that sort of dark shadow for the bottom of the branch um, i just want to do a little bit on the beak and although the beak is going to be um, toned in i'm just going to take a little bit of the yellow just on the beak now i will pick up a bit of the brown because i don't want it to be overly um, done and then i can just put these ones back in with my browns my reds my browns my browns i put my orange down in on there okay just put that out of the way um, oh, actually, while I'm at it, I need to do this in a colour, don't I? Um, I might do this in bright green, actually. I think that might just give a little pop of something. So let me put these pens just out of the way. And we're just going to have this in a little bit of bright green. Because I think that that will just, just like that. Because once I've added the um, the colour, it will have worked nicely. I'm just putting my pen back. Okay, so let me just get my water brush. Okay, 
so this one I think is quite a wet one yes it is which is quite good so I'm just going to dry it off a bit because I don't want it overly wet and then I'm going to take the little breast to start off with oh it's very wet hold on let me just dry this off on here a bit let's take that in and you can see how nice and bright it comes like that now I'm going to take this which is the nice bit of the robin and you can see how as soon as you touch the water you get these really lovely tones coming in on here okay now what I want to do is just take when I've finished this so this is the dark coming into the light I want the bottom of the branch to be darker and then I'm just going to take the little there we go little beacon on here let's take this which is the green bring that in over the top now this is a little bit um a little bit wet in on here but that should be all right okay so that's colored it in um now what i want to do is i want to get some nice splatters in on here so i'm going to take my um posca pen and just literally take this get some nice white splatters coming in and then I'm just going to take on the top of here just as if there's some snow which I always think is quite nice on there um, I'm going to take the thicker one and I'm going to take some splot like this rather than splattering it so that it looks as if there's some sort of snow coming down which I quite like so we'll leave that like that I'm not putting any more on the robin and then I want to put um we've got in on where is it we've got some we've got some words on here so we've got the word robin We've got Robin on there, but I quite like um, there's really nice little footprints here. And I think I'm going to do some little footprints coming through to just add a little bit of something in on there. I want to just take another. I'm just looking around for a little block. I don't know what I've done with my. Have my blocks got further in on here? Yes, they have. Right, I'm just getting my blocks out. A great big crash and a bang, so I can just get a little block out in here because I don't want a big one for this. These are tiny. Oh, I think I should have that one out, shouldn't I? Um, yes, I've got it fine. I'm looking around to find a tiny little block and I couldn't see it and it's there it is that's what I was looking for so I just want to do quite like these little footprints um, so I'm going to take some of those and I think I want them together although they're different no let's do let's do one in one area and one in the other because i think it'll be wrong to have them in there so um i'm going to do them in black so let's take my forget i've got a tiny little one on there 
Okay, so I'm going to take some little footprints here. Now we have to have the footprints will go. I'm just trying to work out whether we've got um, that way, I think. Just wanting to make sure I have them in the right sort of direction. I think I just want to have three little footprints there. And then I want the smaller ones to just go in above. Um, Dear, there's my dog barking again. There's a little pain. Once she starts, I can't shout at her because she'll go, she'll make a silly little noise. So, right, let's take that one this way and we'll have that there. And we'll have that there. So, we've just got some little, little sort of footprints on there. They don't quite look like footprints, do they? But uh, they're not um, they're not too bad, I don't think. Let's just put this in on here. Hopefully she'll stop in a minute, but um, I do apologise for my dog making silly noises. Um, I'm not sure about those footprints. I think maybe should they be that way round? I don't know. They don't look the greatest on there, so I might actually just put... I want the word Robin on here, don't I, because it's Christmassy. So I'm going to take the Robin... And I can take it in, just trying to work out what I'm going to take it, to put it on a little bit of card. Now, do I have it, I could have it black with white in, couldn't I? Let me just have my scrap again in on here. Um, is that the one that's cut down? I think it probably is. Um, and I'm just going to put it with black. And see how that comes out. Mm, not sure on there. I think I might have got a bit overly. We'll see. We'll see. Just stamp that down like that. Oh, that's not very good, is it? I think it probably will be, but I think I just overdid it with the inking on there for a minute. Let me just take the first time I've used this one so I just need to make sure that I don't have too much inking on here although it is sort of a not quite sure whether it's supposed to it doesn't look as if it's etched as well on that bit so we can see okay it's not supposed to be as etched in on that bit so let me just try this one again That's a press. Leave it in for a second. Oh dear, that's even worse, isn't it? Right, third time lucky. And this shows that even when you're a stamper that has been stamping for years, you can still make little boo-boos here and there. Right, let's move this out of the way. Move this end on to the centre. Let's take this down on here and make sure that I've got it pressed completely on the whole thing that's better and it is supposed to be you can see it's got sort of little swirly pieces and things like that on it so I'm going to have it like that um, I'm just going to cut it straight out with maybe just a little a little white border Just see how that comes. I think it'll look better with a. Just got to make sure that because it's a, a solid one that I don't. That I leave it with a little bit of. Um, leave it for a second to dry, because that's what happens quite often if you have a very solid stamp. Um, Particularly the Versafine inks, they take, because they're very fine, they take just a little bit longer to dry. So don't go sticking your fingers in on them. 
Okay, so that's that bit. So I'm going to put this in. And I think I'm going to put it over the top, actually, because I'm not sure on those footprints. It doesn't matter if I've just got a little bit coming out on there. Yes, I think that's fine. So I'm going to have my robin in on here. With a little bit of glue, which is... I have put it back. Look at that. It's a bit unusual for me. I tend to have everything spread out all over my desk. Okay, put this one in on here. I'm going to have this robin coming in like that. Just doing it in that way. Okay, now the only thing I want to do on this one is I want it to be gold. I don't want it to be, um, because it's Christmassy, I want to have gold on here. So I'm going to do my gold edging which you know I enjoy doing in a, oh dear getting bits everywhere so let's do this on here and you'll see how the gold would just make it pop a bit so um just want it in on the inside border I'm very quiet because I'm concentrating. Let's get it up in on there. Whoops. And then we'll just take this one like that. Okay, so you've got a nice <coughs> gold border around there, which I think will look beautiful. Um, I could do some gold splatters actually. Should we have a few little gold splatters on here? Let's see what they will look like. Um, hmm, not coming out very... Are they coming out? I'm not sure. Just give me a little bit on here. think there's enough in there to do gold splatters on that one I might try the let's try the thinner one which is a newer one and try and get because I just fancy a few little gold splatters on there I think that will just tone it up a bit um, what I can do beforehand I want to go through on here so I'm just going to put gold around the corner of this where I had my little white border and on the outside put that on there on the outside like that that's lovely so I've got a little gold robin and now I'm just going to take this and just put a few oh yes just got those little gold gold sp splatters on there which I think make it look beautiful and then all I need to do is to put it onto a background. And I think I'm going to use craft card because I think that that will. This is me getting, I've got a couple of craft card ones. I think that will just. Put it on craft card like that. I think that that just makes it look beautiful. 
Um, so I think I'm going to do it on there. I might do it on another colour. You'll see it on the front screen. But I hope you enjoyed that. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.